What's up, gang? Welcome to Digital Rewind. <laughs> I did the intro real fast. Today we're talking about one of my favorite things on the planet, Facebook. But more specifically, Facebook Marketplace. Now a lot of you guys probably know about Facebook Marketplace. It's one of the greatest things to ever happen to Facebook. I go on Facebook Marketplace literally every single day. Because why wouldn't I? There's always such good content on there that I can buy or I can mess with people. I usually buy though. Anyway, recently I've been seeing this trend on Facebook of the ability to buy food on Facebook Marketplace. I know this sounds weird, but it's honestly one of the most normal things Facebook could ever do. This whole idea of buying food off Facebook made me really intrigued and made me want to try to buy food off there. I don't know if it's gonna be poisoned, I don't know if it's gonna be bad for me, but it seems like something someone needs to investigate. So come join me and we're going to look at a uh, good old Facebook Marketplace. Let's go. Now if you're trying to find food on Facebook, it's pretty simple. You just need to go to Marketplace and you just need to type in four simple letters. F-O-O-D, food. Now you kind of want to avoid like the restaurants of them trying to sell you stuff for the restaurant. You just want to get to the people that are specifically just selling their own thing from like their house. So right away I see these cinnamon rolls and of course I'm going to message them. I'm going to ask, are these still available? Because I want to buy this. So are these still available? And send. So I just sent the message asking if they are available. Next, I'm going to ask for something else because it looks like there's some really good stuff on here. Just excellent work by Facebook. Who does this though? Who would do this? And why is Facebook allowing this? I don't know and I'm probably gonna get poisoned but those cinnamon rolls look pretty good. Right here, we have a pumpkin roll. Um, yeah. This looks great. I'll ask about it. Let's see if it's still available. Are you still selling this? I want one pumpkin roll. That's all I want. Finally, I'll just go ahead and put uh, my order in for some enchiladas. Because I have to have like actual food. I can't just have only uh, desserts. So I'll just go ahead and ask. I'll just tell them that they look yummy. That's all I'll say. They just look really yummy. And send. All I can do now is just wait and see if these people respond to me because I want these desserts and I think they're gonna be pretty freaking good. But if they respond and I'm able to get a deal and they end up selling me something like this, we are going to go pick this up. We are going to try it and see how it tastes. So I will see you guys in a little bit when these people respond. So I'm gonna do one of these things where I snap and I disappear and then I'll come back later. Probably another day. I'll probably be wearing something different unless they respond in two minutes. <laughs> and we're back. Welcome back guys. As you know from just a few seconds ago we are buying food off Facebook Marketplace and we have made progress. I am currently talking to a person trying to buy some cinnamon rolls for them. Obviously I'm not going to say this person's name so we'll call them C-3PO just to protect their identity. So I've been talking to C-3PO. These are the people that I asked if they're still available. They told me that they have to be like fresh. So I had to like order them. I asked them how I needed to order them and they just said through here. So they seem cool and we're gonna go pick them up tomorrow. The only problem is they're gonna cost me $10 and I only have $10 in my bank account. So these better be incredible. Like these better make me immortal. That's what I'm trying to get at. I re Listen, I love Facebook and everything, but I really just want to be immortal, and hopefully these minerals do that for me. Anyway, the next time you're going to see me, we're going to be driving to go get these cinnamon rolls, so I will see you when we go pick these babies up. It's officially cinnamon roll day. I'm about to go pick them up, and uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the weirdest things I've ever done, but they're going to be great. Well... The plot thickens. As I was on my way to grab the cinnamon rolls from C-3PO, they messaged me and said that they weren't gonna be able to make them. We're not stopping here. There, There's so much food on Facebook that I still wanna try, so 
forget the cinnamon rolls. We're going back to the drawing board and, uh, yeah, we're going to order something else because Facebook rules and I'm hungry. This is incredibly disappointing, but as Mark Zuckerberg would say, the show must go on. So, as you know, I messaged someone about cinnamon rolls, a pumpkin roll, and enchiladas when I first started this. I am now going after the pumpkin roll. I have already discussed the pumpkin roll, and, um, yeah, we're gonna get it. Because I want to protect this person's identity, we will call them Jimmy Neutron. So I will be buying a cinnamon roll, not a cinnamon roll, a pumpkin roll. It's not as exciting. I will be buying a pumpkin roll from Jimmy Neutron tomorrow. I hope this works out. Well, today is the day. Today is the day that we figure out if Facebook can actually make food. Not the person that I'm picking it up from, Jimmy Neutron, but if Facebook, as a social media platform, can make food. And if you can legitimately survive only on Facebook. This is a huge question. So right now, I'm going to go pick up this pumpkin roll. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to taste it. And we're going to see what Facebook is made of. Let's go. We did it. Thank you, Jimmy Neutron, for making this for me. It looks delicious. Your lab was absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and head back and uh, let's see how this tastes. This is by far the weirdest thing I've ever done. I, I still can't really believe that I bought food from Jimmy Neutron and that this is from Facebook. But it's great. Like, I'm really excited about eating it. So, obviously we can't eat it here. This is not, this is not a place to eat. So we're gonna have to go over to my Facebook Marketplace Corner to just dig into this and see how this tastes. Let's head over there. Welcome to my Facebook Marketplace Corner. It's pretty nice. All right, we should dig in. The first thing you're gonna notice about this is that this thing is absolutely enormous. Let's open this baby up. This does look delicious. Wow. Now clearly this thing is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's huge, it's got a ton of cream coming out of it. It looks great, but I think we're all thinking the same thing. How does it taste? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, fork and knife from my pocket, where they usually are. And we're just gonna cut this thing right down the middle. I can't mess this up because if I do, this video will be ruined. Look at that. So swirly, so nice. Clearly, Jimmy Neutron put a ton of work into this. Facebook, you outdid yourself. I cannot believe you made this. I don't even think Twitter can make something as good as this. All right, it's the moment of truth. How does this taste? I'll be honest, I'm not that hungry. You guys gonna have to find out in the next video. No, of course we're gonna taste it. We've done so much work. I'm going to taste Why wouldn't I taste it? Okay, let's try it. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bite right here. Try to eat a lot of cream. All right, let's give it a whiff. This is really good. This is really... Jimmy Neutron, boy genius and baker, how? I think I'm gonna have another bite. Why not? I mean, I bought it. I feel like I deserve it. Clearly this video is just a really weird topic. It was just super interesting to me that this was a thing I wanted people to know about it, so if people want to buy food ever, 
Facebook is an option. I don't really know what I was trying to answer or what my goal was with this video. It might have just been to get to like get some dessert. I don't really know. But honestly, if people ask the question, should I buy food off Facebook? Like, is it safe? I don't know if it's that safe, but to answer the first question, yeah.